Last week, I was able to get my hands on a copy of GMT's Paths of Glory. And we're gonna take a deep dive, take a look at what's inside this box here on Legendary Tactics. So Paths of Glory yes. is a game that's been around for a long time, from 1999. Really? Oh wow, okay, so not real, necessarily a new release. No, not yeah, a new yeah. release. No, this and is the World sixth, War One. Yeah, sixth printing at the end of GMT. the deluxe edition. GMT, excellent. GMT. Now, let's so take World War One. Yeah. Not a setting that has been common in wargaming uh, for uh, most of wargaming's, wargaming's history. They're, they're beginning to put out some games now, but... Card-driven. Card-driven really? game, yes. Love it's, it. It's... Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, based on you know the the older designs of uh, Mark Herman, which uh, you know really? we the people and so forth. Right, 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 right. And okay. So if we take a good look at this, now there's the rules. The rules are um, a little they're, bit more they're, yeah, substantial. Yeah, they're typical of a war game. Nothing. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now there is some uh, things in the back, some historical design notes and examples of play and okay, stuff. So it's so not it, all rules, right? Yeah, yeah. But uh, anyway, you are looking at a, what is that? Forty-page rule book there. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's a bit of a read. Yeah, it's your typical war yeah. game. Now yeah. here's the interesting thing. Yes, this is actually a game I bought used. Come on. Okay. okay. Yep. Look at this. Is how it came. Okay. Wow. And it's the so guy funny. Clearly had care for it. I was talking to the guy because he had actually bought it off someone, and he was kind of flipping it. Oh <laughs> really? Know? Okay. And okay. He said, "Well, do you want to check?" To make sure all the components are there, and I'm like, and I, as soon as I saw it was in baggies, I'm like, I don't need to. The person that took the time to bag the components properly, yeah, there's no piece missing. It's <laughs> no all, it's missing. all there. So that being said, there is a single one. Oh, that's only because <laughs> the bag popped. Oh, all the there, bag right? popped yeah, open. So. But you know, first of all, let's take a look at the cards. Now each yeah, yeah. side gets their own deck. Ooh, okay, okay I'll so this is here. the uh, the this allies is, versus the central this powers. Is central power. Yep. Okay. And uh, in a way, you can see uh, what elements Twilight Struggle borrowed from really? this kind of right. type of game. Right. Because there are three decks. You start off with the mobilization deck, and then you uh, eventually, uh, once you hit a certain uh, uh, situation, you go to the limited war, you add mix in those cards, okay. and you add the total war cards in. Excellent. And. The cards can be used for multiple purposes. They are nice though. cards too, actually. Yeah. They're nice and thick. Yep, they're really glossy. Yeah, really good, nice typical gloss on the machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. GMT no, good, stock. Good quality. Yeah. yeah. And uh, these can actually be used for four different purposes. So, like Twilight Struggle, you have you can take the ops, the operations points. Right. You can take the event, or you can do a like a strategic movement where you put units on trains and ship them long distances. Really? Okay. Well, that's where the second number after that slash right, is. Right, right, right. And then the bottom is replacement points. So okay. you can spend this to get reinforcements to rebuild your army that's been whittled down. Excellent. So you've got a lot oh. of choices With here. every single every card. Every card gives you four options on that's how to amazing. play it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. lots of options. Now, are, these are each, like, each player has their deck they and deal they with? And they each have their own deck. You don't so have to worry about opponents. So you're not mitigating like point that, events this not one. so much. You're no, right. just trying to maximize what you have. With your own events, right? And at the same time, there's hexes and and counters. These are trenches here. You can see. Okay. There's level one, level two trenches, and uh, you oh, have yeah. out of supply markers and the and the various armies, and you have. Uh, and the, this is typical. This is typical yeah, GMT, this is, right? And it's typical, typical war, war game, game right? right? But and you would expect that this would be. Is there a, only two dice in this whole game? Yeah, that's there's pretty two awesome. dice. That's pretty good. And too, yeah. you would expect, actually, there's more than one uh, free counter. Oh there. boy! <laughs> but check this out. So this is actually not a hex encounter game. This is a point-to-point -point system. And again, big board here. Wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Force Let me just open here. this up. Ugh. Okay. Ah, there we are. Okay. Yeah. So this is a point-to-point. Uh, type thing, so it, it gets rid of all the terrain considerations because it's basically if if you can't move there in one move, then it's impassable. Right, <laughs> There's right, 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 right. Oh, okay. And the ones which are in red are worth victory points, and so you have to try and capture that. There are some terrain. There's you know forests and mountains and so forth here, um, and the ones that are starred ha have basically forts that okay. you have to yeah, besiege yeah, and yeah, so forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but everything is here now. This is the uh, the new map that they redid in 2012. Looks really okay. good, actually. It looks, it looks really, really nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. But it, they also, for the sake of completeness, no! the original map. Oops, I flipped that upside down. So wow! this is the original map. So they did from they 99. Did back to back. You got so whatever way you wow. want to play. 
This is the original 99. Is it the same? Just, just same game. Just, Everything the same plays map? the same. Same map? Same map. But just re, re, restyled. They just restyled it aesthetically. Because one of the things they, they said was, in this map, you don't know where the countries begin and end. On the, on the the like There's borders, but it's faint. Can we just take a little quick yeah, look at the Yeah, we can take a one? quick look at the other side here. You can see that they have all the countries in, in different shades, so it's much oh, easier right. visually. Okay, okay, to so they actually thought of that on. and went ahead and very yeah. clever. Okay. And, they, and they added a few sort of things in, in the just margins to, to make it easier just to play. To kind of, yeah, yeah, sharpen it up a little. Yeah. Wow, and, well, that's a real nice improvement yeah. then. And, the, and of course, there's some there's some player aids, but really, like, nothing too crazy. Is this, yet, uh, like, what, what is this thing here exactly on the back here? Um, that is to attract uh, victory points. Oh, basically. really? Eh? Okay. You've got the reinforcements card and a couple of little play raids to show you the damage when they battle and right. the, tr the train oh, effects. Oh, and, the, and the, basically and, the combat yeah, charts. But, you know, and a few other yep. things there. But yep. but really, like, there's not a, like, there's a not lot. There's not a lot in this game. Yeah. It's actually, so, like, surprisingly minimalist. Yeah. And, the, I mean, yeah. the, the rules, there's apparently a lot of exceptions in the rule. The rule, the game plays fairly straightforward, but where it gets right. tricky is just there's exceptions throughout. Maybe right. map All exceptions right. or whatever. Yep, yep, yep. But other than that, uh, this is uh, supposed to be, and, and again, it apparently is not perfect historically, but it gets the, the feeling across of what it was like right. to in World be War in command of these countries back in World War One. And okay. apparently it is just an absolute game. I'm so glad what I kind of, What kind of led you to it? What kind of led you to get it? I've been reading it? about it for a long time oh, yeah? because it's one of the more respected titles in our hobby, in is this, this wargaming hobby. And okay. so I really wanted to give it a try. And now I can with you. Yeah, yeah looking opponent. forward to it. Yes, I yes. think this could be a, and it's, a great uh, game it's for mostly us to get to two the player. Table. Yeah, it's, it's two, two player. player. Um, but as I said, there is a solitaire system that Stuka right. Joe developed, so it can be played solitaire as well. Okay. So I'm, I may do a playthrough, a solitaire playthrough for well, the we, channel. Uh, we work on it together, do, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can uh, figure that out. But anyway, this is great. This is uh, yeah, what's inside the box of uh, Paths of Glory. So right. hope you uh, kind of enjoyed this little uh, look at uh, this fabulous classic game. And yes. if you would, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And don't forget, get out there, get legendary, and be gaming. Oh, let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs>